Kambu Governor William Kapogo is joining me. You're facing a strong challenge from uh, Kabete MP Ferdinand Waititu. Why do you determine uh, it's strong? He is a front runner according well, to the, poli uh, the opinion uh, polls. That is what opinion poll, my friend. Opinion polls were done twice last month. Right. And I came out at 52, mm -hmm. the first one, uh, 53, the next one. Government has been doing uh, uh, polls every week. Right. And I've still, you know, still risen from you know, 46 all the way to 51. So what would have happened today? No, those polls are fake polls. Those polls are fake those polls. Those polls are fake polls. So you don't believe in what if, they're saying? If, if you're going to be voted in for what you have done, I have worked. And you have seen our county has been rated um, highly in many fronts. Uh, and I have hoped that the people of Kiambu will reward work, not uh, rhetoric and propaganda that is perpetrated for the purpose of, uh, you know, winning favor. And normally what happens is people who go to uh, that extent of propaganda and trying to use fake polls is to try and confuse the masses so that those who are probably undecided, because we have a vote of about 10% that is undecided, even if they were to get the 10% that is undecided through propaganda, which I don't think is the case, they will still be under 41. So really, I mean, I have no problem with the, the uh, a fair, free and fair nomination. Why you saw what happened uh, on, on Friday. Uh, we have issues, and of course the president has graciously um, accepted that we were underprepared. I hope that on Tuesday, if it's Tuesday or Wednesday, we shall be properly prepared so that the people of Kiambu will decide. Not one person, not a group of a few individuals who had access to probably ballot papers. You claimed uh, um, that in the, in the Kiambu nominations that some of the aspirants were transporting the ballot papers. Yes, yes, and it's, it's available on social media. You've seen uh, Mashmiwa Vaya's pickup. Uh, we have had people talking about Mashmiwa Jud Jomo uh, faring. Uh, um, uh, of course, they are being ph philanthropic with uh, use of their vehicles, but the party should have known that uh, um, uh, it's necessary to have the ballot papers uh, um, transported by the party itself, but not by aspiring, uh, aspiring uh, candidates. Uh, so I'm hoping this will not happen again. Um, we also have issues with uh, uh, returning officers. They were changed the last night, I think about 11 o'clock. Uh, those that were meant to be in Nairobi were brought to Kiambu, God knows why. The understanding was uh, that that was to ensure transparency and so that people uh, would not... Um, that you need to ensure transparency, but get people trained properly. Um, a few things that need to be done, they should be done, they, they must be done, so that we have a free and fair nomination. Uh, there's no reason why you would have uh, uh, ballot papers of MCA are more than the ballot papers of governor and senator. So what would have happened to those ballots? And I'm saying this is not from the top level of the party. It is from the mid-level where disbursement of, of ballot boxes. Why would we have ballot boxes in some polling stations in Kiambu and others don't have? I remember I was the first one to vote at, at St. George's Primary School in Ruiru and I voted at 3.45. So really, well, how many people do you expect to vote between 3.45 and 6? So what I'm saying to the party administration in Pangani, get prepared properly. Are we'll, you confident we'll, that when the nominations are done again on Tuesday, that it will now be a free and fair process? If they pronounce their plans tomorrow, then we should be able to say I'm confident or not. But I am sure that they do not want to embarrass the president. I am sure they would want to have a credible uh, uh, nomination and we shall do our nominations on Tuesday. If the nominations are credible, and you lose. Why do you think I would lose? I'm if just have, asking I'm a saying, hypothetical. I'm, I'm saying uh, I, I don't belong to the group that loses. I have been in this game. This is my fifth election. And I have always done it. And I, because people reward work. But if truly I lose nominations in a clear, transparent process, then I say, Kubali Kushindu, I want to say, Yes, but I'm confident I will do it. If, again, this is a hypothetical, if you do lose the nominations, and again, hypothetically, you lose to Ferdinand Waititu, would you support him? I will not lose to him. I am 100% sure. But if in the event that you say you want me to comfort you because you're pushing on the question, uh, that was my statement. But I am not going to lose. Well, the question you should be asking, is Ferdinand going to support me because he will lose? When I have him on, I'll, I'll ask uh, him that same question. He will question. not come here. Let's say, let's say differently. He will not come here. 
I can tell you for free. Get him here. Can we try that? Yes, I'm ready here. Can you ask him to come tomorrow? We we'll come here together. All right, Ferdinand Waititi, if you're watching, if somebody's watching and his team would love to have you come and sit with the governor, I think it would be a fascinating we conversation. We asked him to come to Jeff Koinange live. He refused. All right, if, because, we, can, if we get him on the if, phone if right we, now. If we go, you can ask him to go on phone. Let's try if and, we go, we try and find yes. Ferdinand Waititi on phone. It would be nice to do that. But that said, let's put it this way. If you lose to, not Ferdinand Waititi, Whoever wins that you seem nomination. to be in love with losing. No, no, I'm no, not no. going to lose. <laughs> no, I want to move this on, but I want to yes. get past this. Yes. Whoever wins the nomination, if it is not you, if would it you is, support if, them? If, if it is free and fair, we should support who wins. Yes. So you will not. And this is not only in Kambu. Right. Uh, um, it's it's in uh, uh, the entire party. Um, parties don't develop very well in Kenya because we form new parties every now and then. And I was hoping that we will not need to do another party in Jubilee and that we shall have primaries because parties strength is based on how well they do their primaries and 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 in the world over you will see highly democratic parties uh they do allow uh the best candidate the laws in kenya our constitution envisages uh elections every five years elections not selections right not appointments elections the minute parties allow elections to happen, then de democracy will grow in, in this nation. And Jubilee stands for that. I am sure the president, the deputy president, and I want to ask people to stop using the deputy president's name and saying, no, the deputy president wants, uh, doesn't want you, Kabao, because of this, that, and the other succession. That, to me, is nonsense. Um, and, and, and people must be wary of people who want to use the deputy president's name because... Um, we are not doing nominations for 2022. We are doing nominations for 2017 gubernatorial right. seat, not, not the presidential seat. You're a very strong defender of Jubilee, so you'd never a consider running... A strong defender of the party. And, uh, of the party, so you'd never consider running as independent. I believe we will get uh, credible nominations. And if that happens, there will be no need. The campaigns have been very dramatic. There are claims that there is a Kabogo gang and a Waititu gang. Uh, you know, my friend, I've been in politics for too long. Competitive politics. I've never had a gang. Uh, I've never had goons. Uh, my character is known all along. The character of my opponent is known also. And we are two very diverse uh, uh, people. Uh, our characters speak for uh, themselves. So really, if is there anyone who has a gang, not not Kabako. I don't need a gang. I need Wanjiko because I have worked for Wanjiko. Are there people, a group of people, a group of young men who are going about terrorizing people or countering the YT2? I hear there are people who are found with jambes and uh, uh, machetes, um, and the police arrested a vehicle. I'm yet to know whose vehicle it was, but uh, of course it was not my vehicle. It was not my my, my group. Uh, my weapon is Wanjiko's ballot. That is my weapon. So you're not financing any group of young people, no, group never, of youth, never. to go and why, counter why would whatever I need is to? being done by your why, opponents? Why would I need to? I would not need to do that. I don't have issues with... Uh, I'm dealing with, uh, you know, a campaign of issues. Not about personalities, not about insults, not about propaganda. My business is about what work have I done. Does Wanjiko think that I deserve a new term? And the answer is yes. If these people are doing this in your name, do, are you first aware that people who are doing this in your name? I have heard today in social media people saying all, all these things. And they are meant to be just propaganda, hoping that people will get mileage. And you know, why do people have propaganda in politics? It's when you are oppressed, when you know you are under pressure, you are losing. Uh, politicians do anything to, 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 get, to get to the top. You will not find any propaganda from my side about the other side. I'm saying they have no issues. What about, forget propaganda, what you actually did say, I believe that was in 2014. Yes. Uh, you were quoted as saying that uh, women who are running for office must first get married. No, 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 no. I said, I said, to run a home, you need both parents. I still ha stand by that position. Not that you can't be a single mother. There are very many single mothers and are doing very well. What you but, said... But if you go to the Bible, the Bible speaks about family. And family is everyone in family. And this matter is not an issue now. It is not an issue. I'm hearing it from you for the first time in five years. A lot of people are saying that you are, you hold women in contempt. No, that's not true. 
Do you hold women in contempt? No, I don't. I love women. I love my mother. I love my sister. Do you sisters. hold single women in contempt? I don't have a problem with single women. I have very many friends who are single women. I have ministers I have appointed who are single mothers. At least one politician in Kiambu County has uh, claimed that you disrespect her because she's a single woman. I she's love a that mother. she has claimed, and that is not true. I love the word claimed. If you had said I had said it, I'd say I didn't say it. But she claims that's her opinion. So do you believe the, it's entitled to? Do you to believe the opinion. single mothers are just as fit for leadership? They are as very any, good any leaders in woman. the world, presidents in nations, or who are single mothers. Some of them are not single by choice. It is just bad luck or whatever it is. Really, it's not an issue. How you are in your family, whether I am divorced or not, because we are also some of us are single fathers, right? It, it doesn't matter what you are when you are behind your closed doors. It is the content of your mind, the stuff that you can give to your people. And you, you remember Martin Luther King says, it will get to a point where it is not the color of your skin. It is the content of your character. Uh, and, and this is what we should be discussing, not about who is a single father, who is a single mother, who is a widow and who is a widower. I mean, it's, not, it's God's choice for who you are. And people want to use those things for politics. This is not going to work now. It didn't work then. It's not going to work now. It's not going to work next year. You run a very flamboyant campaign. It looks very expensive campaign. Does it mean that for you to be governor, you need to have... It looks expensive. You need to have... Again, I love the choice of your words. It looks... It looks expensive. And it's not expensive. My question, because if you're, if you're running a campaign and all you need to do is fuel your diesel mobi mobile vehicles, diesel is hardly 90 shillings a litre. I haven't asked the question yet to the governor. Yes. Does it mean that for you to be governor, you must, have, you must be a man of no, immense means? No, you don't means? have. You don't have to be. There are many governors who are of limited means. It is not about how much money you have. It's about what is in here. What do you have to offer? Uh, if you ask us what we've done in Kambu, you will be amazed by the things. I will get to that just before we go, but I want yes. to ask about the means because what is the source of your financing exactly? Because you are a wealthy man even I before have you friends. became governor. I have friends. I've done a few fundraisings. You know, Friday night, I do every other Friday night a few friends and say, hey, we need funding. Because it's, it's not about me. It's about society. It's allowed by the law to fundraise. But that doesn't mean that uh, I'm a pauper. Really, no. You're I not mean, a pauper, so I, I what work. is the source of your, of your money? I work. I'm, I'm a businessman. I build houses and sell. I've done that for many years. So you're a source I'm of I'm an international you're businessman. You're an international businessman yes. who deals in houses? Houses, commodities, imports, clearing and forwarding. What kind I of commodities? A, a, a supermarket commodities. Yes, we sell a lot to supermarkets. Yes. I own a chain of uh, companies. And, and that, to me, is hard work, and I believe in working. I enjoy doing business. Although it's very difficult to do business and politics at the same time, one has to suffer. Why should the great people of Kiambu re-elect you? Because I've done a lot. I've, I've, I've done a base. Uh, uh, we've built uh, uh, um, Kiambu from uh, nothing in terms of uh, devolved functions. Uh, many governments, county governments, are still, uh, you know, struggling with formation of government and getting government to go, you know, to get going. Kiambu's government is working. We have a fully funded government by ourselves in the National Exchequer. Uh, we've built hospitals all over. I have five new level four hospitals that are almost 70% complete. Uh, one level five in Thika, which we have spent about 800 million in the last two and a half years. We've done uh, two point, uh, uh, you know, 2,700 Kilometers, sorry, 1,780 kilometers of Earth Road, which we have put headcore in Moram, and uh, the next phase now is to do bitumen or, or, or to pave those roads. Um, our health centers are amongst the best health centers in, 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 in Kenya. Right. Uh, and uh, you've had people saying, even from Nakuru, hey, you guys, that guy is working. Okay. Let me read just yeah. two tweets before you go, Governor. Yes. Um, one is from um, I am Jay Mecca says, Kambu County governor races between two Punjab University students who never met in class, college, streets for years. Is that even factual? <laughs> I was in Punjab. I went to school there. Uh, I have a degree in Bachelor's of Commerce. If you ask me what commerce is all about, I have a long story to tell. Uh, if you ask me about my Indian experience, I will tell you the story. The other guy says he was there. I didn't see him. 
Were you around the, were you supposed uh, to have been there around I the same time? I was supposed to be there probably a year or so before he came. Uh, but uh, there is a story about that. You have contested his degree? Yes, I have. Why and, is uh, that? And, and, and because I am from Punjab, I know what caliber of people did become. I will tell you from your speaking whether really you know what it is that BCOM is all about. Remember that Chandigarh University where I went, Punjab, is university number 10 in the world in commerce. Um, we peers who went to this university have a common behavior in terms of commerce language, in terms of how you carry yourself. So really, when you come and say you went to India and you did Punjab and I was there, you're making me look like, you know, we, you know what I'm saying? So I need to defend my degree. Sometimes it's important for me to feel uh, I am still the same guy who did this. I'm still the same guy who had to go for tuitions early morning and in the evening so that I could make it through uh, 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 school. So you that don't matter think, is not over yet. You don't think no, 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 no. Uh, Waititu carries himself like somebody went to the no, same not, university not like carrying, you? Even the issue of commerce, it's not there. You can't see it. My friend, to do business, become in India is, was one of the most challenging things. Um, this is a matter that is already uh, before uh, the necessary bodies that are looking into it. Okay. If we get the merits of it, you will, you, you will laugh yourself to death. Because I cannot apply for a passport as William Kabor, and I get a passport as James William. It is not possible. My file in immigration and the passport that I have, they should be able to come together. But those are merits of a case that is before court. So really, let's not go there. But right. I am not worried about this degree now. I don't want to stop the you guy. You tried to do, use that to block him no, from no, running. No, 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 that's not true. I did not try. Now here you have missed the words. I did not try. The matter is still there. All right. I still have a degree, remember? I need to protect my degree, the integrity of the university that I went to. Okay. That is my issue. Last question. Kindly tell Kapogo, this is Peter Seven, to forget being governor of Kiambu, we can no longer withstand his arrogance. We need a servant leader. Well, that is his opinion. He's entitled to it. I respect his opinion. But yep. that is, he can't use we. He should say I. You have a reputation for being arrogant among certain people. Well, I don't know where you're getting that from. Do you think I'm arrogant? I, have, I don't know you well enough, Governor. Well, I, don't, I also don't know you very well. I've seen you on TV, but I don't think you're arrogant. You know, when you stand firm, people think you're arrogant. But I, I, I am a firm guy. I am a team leader. I negotiate. But when we agree, we stick to the rules. Uh, that's not being arrogant. All right. Yeah, but again, if you're a guy who understands Maisha, you're smart, and in the street, you're also smart. Uh, guys will think you're arrogant, but I'm a nice guy. Ask him to come along. See me one of these days. Let's pop together and let's see whether he will go home thinking I'm arrogant. I'm not arrogant. Governor, thank you so much. But for I love me. Kenya. You love Kenya. I fight for Kenya. I love my party, Jubilee. You fight for Kenya, you fight for Jubilee, and you fight for Uhuru Kenyatta? Very much. In fact, you have, yes. uh, you have said some very strong words against Raila Odinga for that. I have not said strong words against Raila. I have talked about his character. Again, what is the difference? character is a lot of difference. Like today, what did he say about our party? Nikama Kunyamba kwa Dovu. Sasa hiyo, Jameni, Luga hiyo, Je Honu Ngwana. What's Honu Ngwana, man? Kiongozi yule ni Rafkiangu, lakini Matamshi hayo ndiyo mimi na pitana na hayo. Those are the things that I don't like. Do you think I, he... But you know, the good thing, I call him and I tell him. Do you think he disrespects President Kenyatta? Uh, sometimes. All Not right. all the time, sometimes. Let's leave it there. Governor, thank you so much for coming on. All Asante. the best on Tuesday. Asante, Asante sana.